fast enough, the finish line may come too soon and brutally. A beloved pet, but if his owner's fortunes change, he could be headed for a final ride. Slaughter is the cruel fate for over 100,000 American horses each year. Horses from wide backgrounds, including race horses from the tracks, wild horses from the ranges, people's pets and ponies. Few Americans know of this secret or of the suffering of its victims. For years, we at Animals Angels have worked tirelessly to change that. We conduct undercover investigations to document the hidden horrors of horse slaughter in the United States, Mexico, and Canada. The evidence is vast and clear. Horse slaughter is a horse's worst nightmare, and we cannot stand by and let it continue. We've documented how the suffering starts at unloading docks such as the auction of Shipshawana, Indiana. It was not long after our arrival that auction workers labeled a horse a kill horse. And at that very moment, the horse's conditions and treatment changed from nurturing to abuse and neglect. The kill horses are crammed into pens so dangerously overcrowded, they fight and injure themselves and each other. No veterinarian comes to their aid. The prevailing attitude is, who cares? The horse is gonna be slaughtered anyway. When the auction itself starts, the kill horses are herded into the auction ring in large groups. To get them there, abuse and violence are the methods of choice. Some never even get that far. They sell in seconds from the back lot. Americans don't eat horse meat, and many have no idea that tens of thousands of American horses are slaughtered each year to be eaten overseas. The process is kept quiet. So many well-intentioned owners don't know that the horse they just sold on the promise of a good home is about to begin a terrible journey. After the auction is over, the horse's nightmare continues when they are transported. Once, horses of all sizes were packed and crammed into double-deck trailers built for cattle. This practice led to many injuries and deaths among the horses. It also caused for very unstable loads on the highways, being a danger to everyone on the roads. Due to the advocacy and hard work of Animals Angels, this practice has now been changed and is illegal. After the auction, horses are transported to feedlots, such as the one in Shelby, Montana, which is one of the largest in the United States. Thousands of horses come here. Some are injured or sick but many are young and healthy, just unlucky. They linger at the feedlot until they're loaded up again and shipped to the slaughterhouse. Many of the horses that end up in feedlots are the throwaways of large-scale breeders and the racing industry. Some say slaughter is a necessary evil, a way to dispose of unwanted horses. But the real solution is to stop overbreeding and educate owners on more responsible care. Once horses leave the feedlots, those exported to Mexico face another stop. Export pens like those in Texas or New Mexico. They're often kept without food, water, veterinary care, or shelter through all kinds of weather, including temperatures exceeding 100 degrees. We're working with state and federal authorities to enforce existing humane standards for feed and export lots. During transport in open trailers, the horses are unprotected from the sun, wind, and extreme heat. And they're subject to severe injuries due to close quarters and low overhead metal piping. After their long, horrible journey, the kill horses' nightmares far from over. Frightened and exhausted, they're unloaded at the slaughterhouse to face their final terrifying moments. In these holding pens, there's no shelter and only corn husks for food. For workers, the only way to get the panicked animals onto the kill floor is to hit them with wooden sticks, jolt them with hot shots, and curse and scream to frighten them forward. Those horses who can no longer walk are dragged into the plant with a cable winch. Once inside the kill box, workers aim a captive bolt at the horse's head. The horse shies and flinches to avoid it. 
So the bolt often misses penetrating an eye, an ear, or a neck. I saw this mare, eyes wide open with terror, that it haunts me. At Animals Angels, we're committed to change the fate of these horses. We want to end the terrible treatment of these animals that have given us so much as our partners and our friends. We owe them the right to live and die with dignity. So we work hard to end their suffering and you can help. There are two important things you can do right now. Call or email your U.S. Senators and urge them to support Senate Bill 1176. It would prohibit the buying, selling, and shipping of horses to be slaughtered for human consumption. If they serve on the Commerce, Science, and Transportation Committee, encourage them to bring the bill out of committee for a vote. You can also help by educating others about horse slaughter. Show this DVD to your family, friends, and coworkers, and ask for their help. Together, we can change the odds for these beautiful creatures and end this nightmare for American horses and make sure they all come out winners. <laughs>